Hello friends, uh, it's a quick video on how to make your PDF, uh, you know, how to have a hyperlink on PDF. So let me take you back of where this uh, requirement came in and I did a bit of an investigation to find it uh, out uh, or uh, to know more about it. So, so this is where I had uh, written a Word document. I have written a book um, in Word and uh, I wanted, I got it converted to uh, PDF. So how did I do it is, you know, if you have, uh, you know, Microsoft Word, if you want to print anything, you know, it doesn't matter if it's Microsoft Word or any document, if you want to put in, uh, uh, if you want to print, it may be an Excel sheet, it may be, you know, um, PowerPoint presentation as well. If you want to um, print it, so at the time of printing, it gives you an option to save it as a PDF file, okay? So print to PDF as it's, uh, you know, it says. So every computer has that functionality as well. And that is how you convert that into a PDF file. But when I converted that into PDF, uh, you know, the Word document, I was not able to get the links because I had some hyperlinks on that Word document, which I wanted to be on the PDF so that on the PDF, if somebody clicks on that link, then they go to, uh, you know, a certain page. And um, so I just did a bit of a research and uh, Adobe, you have to go for Adobe Pro to insert hyperlinks, okay, on a, on a PDF document, okay. So I did just didn't want to do that only for the sake of, uh, you know, uh, this, this document because I, I, I won't be using that much, uh, you know, Adobe Pro. So, and then I did a bit of an online PDF uh, editing softwares as well. There are PDF Escape, or I think it's another one called Mini, Mini PDF. So there are so many online free um, PDF editor. That also did not help because this document itself is around 200 pages or more than 200 pages. They have the limitation of 100 pages. Then I went for Canva, okay? And uh, Canva has a functionality, a beta functionality to um, convert, uh, you know, uh, or edit the PDF file. And they have also have a limitation of 100 pages you can upload, but this uh, document has 200 pages. So how do you do it, okay? So I just, uh, you know, was looking for the information I, and I found it online. And rather it was a P, uh, you know, YouTube video as well. Um, thank God, you know, because of the PD, uh, the YouTube, we are getting so much of, uh, you know, information out there already, you know, shared by people. So that's why I wanted to share it with you in this, uh, my, PD, uh, you know, YouTube channel as well. So how do you do it? Let me just share my screen to show you this document. Okay. So this is the uh, ebook I created, uh, you know, well, it was created on a, a Word document. As you see, this is Word document. Uh, I'm I am on a Mac, uh, you know, operating system. So now, if you see, there is, uh, you know, this. Uh, these are the hyperlinks uh, because this is going to be an ebook. There is no page number, so table of contents or TOC, as they say. So it doesn't have page number. So what I wanted is, uh, you know, if, when you click on this, you go to this page. Okay, so that that is that is there. It's going, but I wanted to also because it doesn't have a page number. Um, I want also wanted to have this functionality so by anyone can go to the table of content. So go back to content page. Okay. So what I did is I included a hyperlink in in the uh, in the footer. Okay. If you see here, I know on the footer if I went and clicked in that I came here. So now how I did it. So this is also very simple. You know on the table of content. I know what I did is I included. If you go to insert and do a bookmark so i just uh, you know created a bookmark called toc or table of content and uh, that is where you know this uh, this line is bookmarked so i can um, link it or refer it in anywhere else in the document so i connected uh, you know this uh, kind of uh, footer onto that uh, toc or table of content that that uh, you know uh, link i created so if, if you go here and uh, you know uh, you select whatever you want to hyperlink, uh, you know, and then you go to, you know, the link or you can do a, a sort of, a, you know, you can go for a link like this um, or, or you can do insert, okay? You can go here and, you know, you can go for link here as well, link, and then you choose what you want to link because this is already linked to TOC, okay? That's a bookmark, okay? If you can see, this is a bookmark, okay? So that is how you, you link it. 
but then uh, what i i was uh, not doing right or what I, I learned you know you can you can also save yourself a lot of time is uh, you know um, going here okay what i was doing is file and then print and then uh, you know in uh, mac it gives you this option that okay you if you see here pdf okay so now you know you can sort of save as pdf that is what you know when you do it does not take the uh, links uh, into account so that means the links will be all, only text it that it's not not hyperlink so what i i wanted to do is uh, or what i did so you can do that as well go to file you go to save as option okay and then uh, you go to um, you know you change here okay uh, with uh, what format file format if you choose pdf so you choose pdf Okay, and then it gives you two options, whether you want uh, best for printing or, you know, best for you know, electronic distribution. So that is what you have to make sure that this is what you uh, click. Okay, by default, it will be best for printing. And then when you export it, then it will be saved with your hyperlinked or, you know, uh, uh, activated. So that means you, anyone can uh, click on that uh, document and uh, they can, uh, you know, go to the page. So let me just share with you as well that uh, document which uh, you know was uh, created and uh, you know it was all hyperlinked so that you know anyone can navigate from one page to to the other page okay so let me just share it uh, you know real quick so that you can see how it works and you should uh, be able to do that as well okay so now you see here so this is document if i go for chapter 1 why mlm so this is here okay now if i go to go back to content develop content so this is all hyperlinked so uh, with that i am done hope uh, you know you understood you learned something and uh, you know go ahead and uh, this is a quick uh, you know tip for you to create a document uh, you know a pdf document with hyperlink enabled so that you don't have to go for uh, you know adobe pro or any other kind of uh, online free services which also has limitation on the big documents as well okay and it is also if you have a small document as well it has the problem sorry there is a phone ringing um it has also have a problem uh, you know of uh, each and every sentence wherever you want to hyperlink you have to link it there as well so this is the way entire page you can uh, link it okay or entire document you can link it to a certain page with that, I am done. Hopefully, you are all doing good. This is Som Som Prakash. I'm a business coach and a consultant. I help people to grow their money uh, and uh, with hints and tips so that you can be humongously successful in your journey in entrepreneurship. Okay, with that, I'm done. Bye.